Renal colic. Okay, this is passing a renal stone. Defined as an acute painful condition caused by the impaction or passing of a ureteral stone or calculus. Same thing, stone calculus. Males are more affected than females by about three to one. About one third of patients with a history of kidney stones have a recurrence within one year. Pathophys, the exact mechanism of stone formation is unknown. Stones may become impacted in zones of anatomic bending or narrowing, such as the renal calyx. That's uh, as it's leaving the kidney, it has a lot of angles to make. Ureteral pelvic junction, that's where the renal pelvis meets the ureter. Okay, that's another spot. And then also where the ureter hits the bladder. There's often a junction there that um, is more of an acute angle, and they can get stuck there too. Stones less than four millimeters usually pass. Over six, they usually don't pass. History, classic presentation is of acute severe colicky because remember the urethra, ure, the ureter has uh, peristaltic waves so colicky means you get a big increase in pain and then it kind of goes down and then only to come back again so that's colicky which radiates to the ipsilateral testicle or labia majora or groin labia majora in women or groin in general nausea and vomiting are common because it's so painful the patient is often writhing in pain and unable to find a comfortable position. There's only one other disease that causes writhing in pain with a almost with a normal physical exam, and that's going to be infarcted bowel. If you've got the uh, gastrointestinal series, I talk about that too. So those are the two: passing a stone, and the other one is infarcting bowel. It's like having a heart attack of your bowels. Okay, physical exam, usually normal except for possible mild CV angle tenderness. That's in the back again, just give a little thump. Fever is not typical, may suggest infection or some other process. By the way, I think acupuncture can work really well for this. And hydration, so man, you got to just start pushing the fluids big time. And uh, one of our professors, if I could get around to it, I should probably put this into a course. Um, he's an internist, uh, one of the old school, he's like in his 70s, and he treats a lot of this with a series of, of uh, just acupuncture, no herbs, and with great success. Here's an IV uh, pilogram. So you give them IV contrast material, and then you wait for it to fill up into the kidneys and then bladder. This is one and a half hours post-injection, and you can see the dilated ureter already. This is not good. It's called a hydro hydroureter and you can start getting reflux into the kidneys this is really a bad um, condition you can see the stone is plugged it up completely right here this is 15 minutes after so it hasn't really started you can see a little hint of it here a little bit there I think uh, renal calculi this is a particular condition where the kidneys fill up with stones called a medullary sponge kidney because there's anatomic defects within the matrix of the kidney itself. In medullary sponge kidney, the tubes are irregular in diameter, forming pools of urine along the way. These pools encourage stone formation and infection. So this is much less common, but uh, you can just imagine the stones these poor people pass. And uh, for renal colic, diagnostic evaluation, urinalysis, looking for hematuria, that's blood, supports the diagnosis. IV pilogram, that would be this again, over here, was the treatment of choice. However, non-contrast CT scans replacing it. Renal ultrasound is also a good alternative. Imaging is good for locating the stone, its size and degree of hydronephrosis. So that's uh, hydronephrosis is the amount of back pressure filling up the kidney with urine. So how do you treat this? IV hydration and narcotics for pain. Admit the patient if refractory to pain meds, persistent nausea and vomiting, if you have obstruction with infection or a solitary kidney with complete obstruction. So there's a couple of um, definite that you have to admit patients for. Coexisting disease may also prompt admission to the hospital. An obstructed kidney with infection is a urologic emergency. Discharge home if no infection and is tolerating oral pain meds with a follow-up in seven days.